Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy. I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good, on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, something you may have heard about, read about, and you want clarification, formulations, ingredients, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And, of course, if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites. If you're a business person or if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you want to make a little extra money or if you want to make a lot of money and make a living without having to report to a boss or punch a clock, if you want to enjoy the tax benefits associated with having your own business, Longevity makes it so easy to be in business for yourself. For a one-time $25 fee, you can get going and start your own business and help change the world, help spread the news about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They can give you more information, or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, our retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, all made with copious gem generous, large amounts of vitamin C and vitamin A, only active and functional ingredients in our Truth Skin Health products, no preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, perfume, emulsifiers, surfactants, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can check them all out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been talking connective tissue and fascia and fibromyalgia. Specifically, we've been talking about fibromyalgia now for a couple of days. Fibromyalgia and its relationship to damaged connective tissue, toxic connective tissue, especially the fascia. Connective tissue is the great dumping ground of blood toxins. We always say all disease is cell disease. All cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. And dirty blood inevitably will end up dumping off its toxins into the connective tissue. If you have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, there's pretty much nothing a doctor can do for you. There's nothing the medical model has in its little bag of tricks that can do anything for fibromyalgia, with the exception of pain pills, which don't work anyway and come with their own list of problems, including constipation, digestive issues, which of course will exacerbate the toxicity that caused the fibromyalgia in the first place. This is kind of a, a, a iconic representation of the failure of drugs and, and, and drug therapy. Therapy. You take your pain pills for your fibromyalgia, it causes digestive problems, which leads to more toxicity in the blood and leads to more toxicity in the tissues, which leads to more fibromyalgia. Of course, 
You may not feel the pain, but that doesn't mean that your connective tissue and fascia are not degenerating and deteriorating. Pain pills can dull your brain, dumb down mental processes, and of course then you run into the problems with addiction. And the pain pills ultimately can kill you. It's a leading cause of death. According to Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum, pain medications cause 45,000 preventable U.S. deaths a year. That makes them a leading cause of death. Pain pills are a leading cause of death, a top 10 cause of death, somewhere right after kidney disease and, and before suicides. Bottom line here, folks, is fibromyalgia, which is caused by deteriorating, degenerating connective tissue, toxic connective tissue, or fascia, is the sign of a pathology. It is not the pathology itself. It is a signal. It is the warning light on your car. It's not the problem. It's the sign of the problem. We have to make this distinction between problems and signs of the problems. We collapse these two separate ideas together, and this is why we don't get better. We think the symptom is the problem. It is not. The, the problem is behind the symptom, and the symptom is just a signal. And we've got this medical model that is obsessed with symptoms and obsessed with signs and obsessed with test scores. And we've got drugs that treat these symptoms and drugs that treat these signs and drugs that treat these test scores. And the reason nobody gets better because nobody's treating the problem. Because you don't need a doctor to treat the problem. And the doctor isn't going to tell you that. He's got a mortgage to pay. He's got kids to send to college. He's got parties to go to where he can tell people he's a doctor. He's not going to tell you that he can't do anything for the problem, so he'll treat the symptom. And it's not intentional, and it's not conscious and volitional. They don't know they're doing it. This is how they're trained. So it doesn't do us any good to beat up doctors. It doesn't do us any good to beat up the medical model. Just know it's a failure. Just know you're not going to get better. And if you're going to the doctor for your fibromyalgia, you have drank the Kool-Aid. You have bought the lie. You've been deceived. And what we're trying to do here on the Bright Side is wake people up to the fact that we have control over our pathologies. The doctor does not. You can't treat signs. You can mask them. You can hide them. You can disguise them. But you cannot treat or cure a sign. And this is why the medical model is an abject failure, total and complete failure, F minus, when it comes to treating chronic degenerative challenges, chronic degenerative disease challenges which is most of our health challenges. 80% plus of our health challenges are chronic degenerative disease challenges which have n are zero amenability to being manipulated by the medical model. And that includes fibromyalgia, which, by the way, is really fascia myalgia. The fascia covers everything in the body from head to toe. It's the inner coating of the body, an inside skin. It coordinates, covers, and supports all of the various organs and glands and tissues and structures. It also feeds and oxygenates all the cells of the body. And as I said, the fascia is the great dumping ground for blood toxins, which come in mostly from what we eat, and that includes sugar. The reason we hit food and, and, and the digestive system so hard on this program is not because I'm Mr. Food Guy. I'm absolutely not a food guy. I'm just saying, if you're sick and if you're in pain and you're miserable, this represents your leverage. This represents your control point. It is so powerful and so important. Now, I'm not Mr. Foodie, and I don't want anybody to think that I am. I'm just saying if you have fibromyalgia, if you have arthritis, if you have an autoimmune disease, if you have gout, if you have hypertension, if you have heart disease, if you have diabetes, your or any other chronic degenerative disease, your control point is what you eat. Now, in terms of the fascia, the most impressive quality of this system is its flexibility. It has to flow. It has to change shape in order for it to be effective. This idea of flow is critical to understand. Everything in the body flows. We are flowing systems. The blood flows. The bile flows. Water flows. The fascia itself, the connective tissue itself flows. With time, this flow becomes disrupted. Over the course of our lives, as we become more and more toxic over time, this flow becomes distorted. Aging, the impact of nutritional deficiencies, the impact of oxygen deficiencies, the accumulation of toxicity from foods and sugar and drugs and cigarette smoke, create a hardening in the fascia. Just like all diseases sell disease, just like all disease has dirty blood behind it, all disease has fibrosis and hardening and constriction of the fashion. That includes cancer and that includes heart disease, the two biggies. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. back on 
the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. Got lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, anything we're speaking about here today, connective tissue, fascia, the relationship of connective tissue to beauty, that's another very interesting subject that we've talked about in the past we'll continue talking about. If you have a skin health issue, if you have accelerated aging of your skin, photo damage, that's a connective tissue problem. If you have eczema and psoriasis, that's a connective tissue problem. If you have acne, that's a connective tissue problem. Nobody's addressing the connective tissue when it comes to health and beauty. By the way, that's why I created my Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream are all formulated to drive the production of the connective tissue, the hyaluronic acid, which is part of the connective tissue. The collagen, which is the connective tissue. The moisture factors, which are also related to the connective tissue, driving the production of connective tissue is the ultimate way to stay healthy, to stay young, and of course, as we get older, the connective tissue and the fascia deteriorate, they break down, and they become fibrotic. This hardening and this fibrosis is a key feature of the aging process. I find that so interesting that as we get older, we harden with fear and with the activated stress response, we harden. Fibrosis, if you hear fibrosis, sclerosis, stenosis, in your diagnosis, you are hearing hardening. You are hearing the manifestation of a protective response. Isn't that interesting how the way we age, the way we get sick is all the ultimate end result of a protective response. Inflammation and fibrosis and all of the things that are precursors to the disease process, to the pain and the discomfort and the, uh, the breakdown of our, of our appearance and our features as, as we appear in the world, all of this is the end result of attack and protection. As we get old, as we, uh, as the, uh, the effects of stress, as the effects of nutritional deficiencies, as the effects of toxicity, as the effects of lack of oxygen, as the effects of mental and emotional trauma kick in and accrue and accumulate with time, the body gets hard, it gets tightened. And this tightness and this hardening doesn't just cause pain. It doesn't just cause fatigue. It doesn't just cause accelerated aging. It also generates the knots of tissue, the the tender spots that are called trigger points that comprise what we call fibromyalgia slash fascia myalgia. I like the term fascia myalgia. It's more descriptive. And this is where myofascial release can be so helpful. Myofascial release is when we unstick these trigger points through manipulation. It's basically just stretching and, and pulling and traction techniques that loosen these sticky knots and these adhesions. Rolfing is similar. I love rolfing. It's a little more aggressive. Everyone with fibromyalgia, everyone with posture issues, with gait issues, how they walk, how they move, soreness, or even just folks who are aging or don't want to be aging. And aging, by the way, occur, uh, begins in our 20s. Believe it or not, the aging process begins in our 20s and our 30s. But certainly elderly folks, people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s can benefit from myofascial release. If we really cared about health in this country, we wouldn't have Obamacare. We wouldn't have the Affordable Health Care Act, which is a boondoggle, windfall for insurance companies and hospitals and drug companies. That's a scam, folks. We don't need, and nobody gets better with doctors and hospitals and drugs. So if we really cared about health, we would have national myofascial release insurance, national massage insurance, national body work insurance, national rolfing insurance. There's something called osteopathic manipulative treatment or OMT. This is another type of body work for fascial loosening or, or release. Osteopathy, you probably heard of the term osteopaths. This is a real medical science. Osteopaths are regular board certified doctors. They just focus themselves, they focus their work on the connective tissue. Osteop osteopathy is about the connective tissue. These days, it started about, it started back in the 1920s, I believe, somewhere in the early 20th, 20th century. It started uh, by focusing on the connective tissue. Osteo means bone, and bone is, is an example of connective tissue. These days, they're basically MDs. These days, they're basically representatives of the medical models. All 
although they do focus on the connective tissue. They still prescribe drugs. They still do surgeries. They still destroy lives like other doctors. They still destroy the body like other doctors. But they tend to be more focused on nutrition. And they tend to be more focused on body work and non-medical protocols. So OMT, osteo osteopathic manipulative treatment, is a combination of stretching and pressure. Chiropractors do it. Regular doctors even do it, in addition to osteopaths. And that means you might be able to get your insurance company to pay, by the way. If you're dealing with fibromyalgia or any kind of connective tissue problem, arthritis counts, just general pain, you may be able to get your, doc or your insurance company to pay for OMT. Yoga can help. Restorative yoga, also called yin yoga, is perfect for older folks. It's very gentle. It uses pillows and rubber balls. You lay on a rubber ball and you stretch out the fascia. You soften the fascia. You kind of melt your body into the rubber ball. You can do it yourself. A rubber ball, big rubber ball, it's kind of, kind of uh, they're kind of bulky. They take up a lot of room in your living room. But if you have the room for a rubber ball, it is a great way to stretch out. You've probably seen these rubber balls in gyms. You lay on the rubber ball, and it, by laying in certain ways, you kind of let your body sink into the rubber ball. You let your fascia liquefy. Remember, the fascia needs to flow. Fascia is a liquid crystal. I love rolfing, though, and I've had it done myself. I highly recommend rolfing. It is a bit aggressive. Rolfing plays, uh, pays special attention to sticky spots, adhesions, and it pays special attention to the fascia, the joint fascia especially. It focuses on posture. It focuses on alignment. You can get benefits from one rolfing session. Although, technically speaking, they recommend 10 sessions. Each session rep, uh, emphasizes a different section of the body. The first three sessions involves the superficial fascia. The next four sessions are the deeper fascia. And the last three integrate everything else from the first seven sessions. Rolfing and all body work, whatever it is, can sometimes increase soreness. And this is why people tend to stay away from rolfing and other forms of body work. It can hurt a little bit. Remember, you're, when you do your rolfing, or when you have yourself rolfed, or any kind of body work for that matter, you're busting through restriction. You're busting through sticky adhesions. Now, typically after a rolfing session or after a body work session, these sore spots are going to dissipate. And in a couple of days, you're going to feel great. Sometimes even after one session, you're going to feel great. If you're sore after a rolfing session, if you're sore after a massage session, a massage therapy session, or any kind of body work session, take extra vitamin E, take extra uh, alpha lipoic acid, take extra vitamin C. Even if you're in the gym and you're working out, it's a good idea to take a little extra vitamin E and alpha lipoic acid and vitamin C as well. That's alpha lipoic acid, maybe 400 milligrams a day, vitamin C, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams, and maybe 400 IU of vitamin E when you come home from the gym. They're great anti-soreness nutrients. And by the way, you don't need to go to a, a rolfer or a bodywork therapist or a massage therapist or a doctor or a chiropractor. You can do your own fascial release, your own myofascial release, your own self-massage. Get a rubber ball. Set your whole body on the rubber ball. Soften yourself into the rubber. Melt into the rubber. The rubber's great because it absorbs your body weight, and it's much gentler than having manipulation than all-out body work, which is still going to be more effective. All-out body work is still the best way to do things, but you don't have to go to a therapist. Do fascial stretches. Touching your toes is an example of a fascial stretch. Any yoga pose that you could do, get on Google, look up various yoga poses. Any yoga pose is going to have a fascial loosening effect. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get to your calls after this commercial break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 is Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com. Also, Ben Fuchs Archives, benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. That's a compilation of all my websites, various websites, Truth Skin Health and Critical Health News and Pharmacist Ben and Brightside Ben. They're all up at benfuchsarchives.com. You could search. If you have a uh, specific topic you're looking for or subject or you want to direct a client or friend or family member to specific information, you're going, to get, you're going to get information on the bright side that you're not going to get in other places. We get down to the root of the root causes of diseases. This is not a program where we just give you the protocol and we give you the cure, take this, take that. I want you to understand how the disease process begins so you can be your own doctor. I don't want you listening to me and my recommendations of what I say to do and what I say to take. You're just as smart as I am. 
All you got to do is figure out how this whole degenerative disease crisis, how it all starts. It starts off with dirty blood. It goes into dirty cells. It goes into dirty connective tissue. And then it goes into whatever symptom we have, whether it's hypertension or whether it's pain or tenderness or, God forbid, if it's cancer. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. We'll get your calls here in just a minute. Got a couple good stories here, interesting stories that I want to tell you about. This is from the Center for Disease Control. Ketogenic diet shown safe and effective for some with rare and severest form of epilepsy. Remember, we started talking about this whole connective tissue subject matter months ago when we talked about the ketogenic diet. I love the ketogenic diet. It's not a cure for anything. It's just a good way to live. It's a good way to eat. The ketogenic diet is a low calorie diet and over and over and over and over again we see that keeping your calories down is associated with feeling better, with, with a, 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 a old age, with longevity, and with a reduction in disease, including cancer. And when you combine it with high fat, and that's what the ketogenic diet is, is a high fat, low calorie diet. It's got to be good fat, the right kind of fat, coconut oil counts. To a certain extent, liquid oils, but coconut oil and butter, those are the best kinds of oil. Liquid oils you've got to be a little bit careful of, as Dr. Wallach and, and, other, and myself and other healthcare practitioners say. I don't think you should stay entirely away from liquid oils. You want to be careful with them. You want to make sure they're fresh and they're kept cold, but they have tremendous health value if you do it correctly. Ketogenic diet is a high fat, low calorie, and those two are important. They go together, high fat with low calorie. If you're trying to go high fat and not drop in your calories, it's not going to work. And you can't, you got to be careful with protein too, by the way. The ketogenic diet, they say moderate protein, but you got to be careful with protein because protein can get turned into sugar and ultimately can get turned into body fat as well. So the ketogenic diet, high fat diet, is the treatment of choice, the non-medical treatment of choice for dealing with epilepsy. This is from John's, uh, from the journal Neurology. In a report on the trials, investigators conclude that the diet is a, quote, feasible option for people with super refractory status epilep epilepticus. How do you like that? Super refractory status epilepticus, SRSE, which is basically epilepsy that is not responsive to anything else, not responsive to drugs. That's what refractory means. Refractory means drugs don't work. This is super refractory. That means drugs really don't work, and the ketogenic diet, according to researchers publishing in neurology, is a feasible option. According to uh, the article, by the way, SRSE, super refractory status epilepticus, up to 60% of patients die once they develop this type of seizure. It's serious business, and the ketogenic diet is something that you want to think about. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Braden in Texas. Good morning, Braden. How you doing? Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you very much, Pastor uh, uh, Pharmacist Ben. Listen, I was in at... Uh, 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 Brayview Books last Wednesday evening when you had your presentation, and I was very much impressed with it. Nice. That, uh, and uh, thank you for, for coming down to Texas thank and you. Uh, having that presentation. What I would like to find out, please, <clears throat> excuse me, can I get a copy, or do you have that same video or a video of the presentation you made? Well, I'll tell you what. When I do my presentations, I've been doing them for over 20 years now. When I do my presentations, they are stream of consciousness. And I don't know what the heck is going to come out. It just kind of comes out. That's why you notice I don't have any notes or I don't have any script or I don't have any PowerPoints or anything like that. It just kind of comes out. And it's always good stuff, I think. And I'm glad you like it. I appreciate that. Um, but it's all, it just comes out. And it's always different. And every time, it's generally the same idea, but it's always different. I add different things. And I, I always learned. Every day I learn something new. And I'm always sharing something new. So and there's no real script for any of that stuff, and there's no transcript for any of that stuff. They did video, and I'm glad they did. Uh, it will be up on YouTube, but I don't have any control over that because I don't even know who videoed it. I just know that there were some cameras up, and, and a couple people told me it was going to be up on YouTube. I don't have any access to that, so I can't, can't really help you. And as I've said before, I'm the worst marketer in the world, and I don't really market myself very well. So uh, unfortunately, I don't have any access to it. But if you'll do this, Braden, if you will send an email to ben, B-E-N, at ksco.com, and put your name and phone number in there. As soon as I have access to the video, or as soon as I hear, uh, as soon as I, uh, as soon as somebody tells me where the video is posted, I'll communicate to you and I'll get you the video. Is that all right? 
Uh, would you please give me that uh, email address again? It's Ben, B E N, at K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar.com. Ben at KSCO.com. Okay. I will give you. I'll drop you a line. Thank you very much. I appreciate. And like I said, it was it was very informative. I appreciate that. What did you have a health challenge you're 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 dealing with yourself, or was it just for general information that you came? Uh, no, I'm dealing with one myself, and uh, I'm uh, I'm working on it. Uh, it's diabetes. Okay, but very easy, very easy to deal with. And if you have any questions or anything, you're welcome to throw them in your email, and I'll get back to you. Okay? Uh, I sure appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye now. Take care, Braden. Diabetes, you know, diabetes to me is the most tragic of all health challenges because it is so easy to turn around. Heart disease, cancer, you know, Alzheimer's, these are things that you can use nutrition with, but they don't turn around as fast as diabetes. And on top of the fact that diabetes turns around so fast, it is a root fundamental cause of other health challenges, including cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's disease. Speaking of that, I just got a, where did I find it? Hang on a second. I was just reading this here. This is from, uh, this is from uh, Medical News. Medical News, I think they call themselves Medical News, MNT. Alzheimer's disease molecular study clarifies potential link to high blood sugar. Alzheimer's disease is diabetes. It's just uh, another way that diabetes shows up. And I know I've been talking about this f for a long time. Now the modern medical model is starting to recognize this. They call it type 3 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease. Point being that diabetes is incredibly easy to turn around. It's the classic eating disorder. There's only two reasons why your blood sugar goes up, food and stress, food and cortisol. And both of these, uh, both food, what we eat, and cortisol are responsive to how we live our lives. Nobody has to have diabetes. And by the way, diabetes is a verb. It's not a noun, meaning that it's a process. As soon as you stop doing something, you won't have diabetes anymore. You don't have diabetes between your meals. Your diabetes is high blood sugar, and it, uh, for the most part, with the exception of cortisol, for the most part, our blood sugar stays high because of what we're eating. And speaking of cortisol, cortisol is also the reason why we're fat, why we can't lose weight. If you are trying to lose weight and you can't lose weight, no matter how, many cal how you drop your calories, rest assured your cortisol's up. Also for medical news, chronic stress may raise obesity risk. Yes, because cortisol will make you fat. Cortisol causes the release of sugar into the blood. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or if you have a particularly troublesome health challenge that you're dealing with and not getting any benefits from how you're being treated by your doctor or drugs or surgeries, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let's go to Canada and welcome Anne to the bright side. Good morning, Anne. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going today? Good. You got me. Oh, my. I am just so surprised. <laughs> well, welcome I'm, to the bright side. How can I help you? My daughter, Tara, is her name, and she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis quite a while ago. She's been taking drugs like they give cancer drugs, yeah. and they've also said she has Sjogren's. They're looking for Sjogren's syndrome. Sjogren's syndrome. They're they're boneheads. Your doctors are boneheads, and in Canada, it's much worse than the United States. Let me tell you why. See, you get free medical care there, and that yeah. means that it's very easy just to go to the doctor. It's much harder to get on a supplement program because you actually got to go and pay for it, and you got to do your own research, and you got to participate. Whereas you just with Canada, you just go to the doctor, and he'll give you a drug, and she'll give you a drug. Yeah. It's awful. It's hideous. It's evil and satanic. And I'm not, I'm being very careful with my words here. It's evil. For yeah. them to give a chemotherapy drug to somebody who has fibromyalgia, it's unspeakably evil. 
chemotherapy I, kills cells. It ki we are cells. Cells are our livingness. If you yeah. absolutely have cancer and you can't do anything else than chemotherapy and you're desperate, that's one thing. But for fibromyalgia, evil. And I wish I could talk to that doctor. If you can get that doctor on the phone, tell them pharmacist Ben wants to have a conversation with them on the air. I would. I hate having to talk behind their backs. But it's it's just so egregiously terrible. Here's the deal. Yeah. You said rheumatoid arthritis and yeah. Sjogren's syndrome. These are both no, auto. Uh, well, she's got two lumps now under both axilla, and they want to do a, a biopsy of the nose, the, the wrist nose. It's so it's just heartbreaking. Here's what you need to do, okay? Yeah. She's rheumatoid arthritis and Sjogren's are both classified as autoimmune diseases. Yeah. That is, the immune system goes crazy and the inflammatory system goes crazy. I could give you all of the reasons why, but it really just boils down to toxicity in the blood. Okay? okay. The blood becomes toxic. It becomes sludgy. It becomes dirty. Eventually, those dirt, the, that dirt and that toxicity dumps off into various systems of the body, in the glands, in the, in the soft tissues, in the connective tissue, in the joints. And this is what causes the immune attack on these joints. The joints are on the tissue. The joints become distorted, and they be, look like the enemy. But that doesn't matter. The problem is in the food, unless she's shooting up drugs, or unless she's an alcoholic or cigarette smoker, which, which will all make it worse, but it's in the food to begin with. Well, so ha mm -hmm. let me just finish real quick, sweetheart. Let me okay. just finish, Anne, okay? Have her fast for two days or three okay. days. She'll notice her. She'll improve right away. She won't, it won't go away, but she'll feel better. When the stream of poisons that's coming into the, uh, into the blood through the digestive system ceases, her symptoms will begin to resolve. It will take a while. She's got work to do here. She's probably very deteriorated at this point, but she'll notice for herself how she's getting better. If you don't want to do a complete fast, do what's called a Swero V cleanse. That's spelled S-U-E-R-O, first word, Swero. Second word, V, V-I-E. Swero V is an amazingly helpful uh, drink made with probiotics, fermented, fermented whey, as well as electrolytes that gives you energy when you're fasting. And you don't need to fast to benefit from the Swero V. You can just you have it, uh, use it as a snack in the middle of the day. If you, don't, if you want to lose weight or you want quick energy and you don't want to cook a meal and you don't want to go all out and you don't, you're sick of Snickers bars and snacks, just have, uh, just have some Swero V. But if you don't want to fast, uh, doing half a bottle of Swero V every hour for two or three days is a great, easy way to experience the benefits of fasting without doing an all-out fast, although an all-out fast is definitely better. When she starts eating again, have her pick her favorite food and watch what happens. Her favorite food, 99.9% .9 of the time, is going to cause a bellyache. That's your clue that that's a food she needs to stay away from. She puts it on a do-not-eat list, and then she yeah. goes to another food. She keeps doing this. This is called the elimination diet. That will make a tremendous difference once she starts eliminating these foods. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to, or she's going to do, is she's going to patch up the gut using probiotics. The nightly essence from Longevity is a great starting point. The ultimate enzymes with meals. She can also do her ultimate enzymes between meals because they have pain relieving properties. And then uh, with all her meals, she should be doing apple cider vinegar. She should be liquefying her food, her nutrition as much as possible. Chicken soup, bone soup, I call it. Vegetable juices, especially with the probiotics. If she can do some fiber, that will help as well. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about estrogen and uh, fibromyalgia, but really estrogen is involved in the autoimmune disease process. Okay. So balancing out estrogen can be helpful in using progesterone cream, pregnenolone capsules. I'll spell that for you. P-R-E-G-N-E-N. O-L-O-N-E, 100 milligrams a day. And don't forget essential fatty acids. The ultimate EFAs are the molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation. The standard American diet and the standard Canadian diet is very deficient in these things or out of balance in these things. So making sure you're getting on or she's getting on the ultimate EFAs, 9 to 12 capsules a day. And then maybe eating foods that contain EFAs like olives and fatty fish, that can also help her. I'd be using 400 IU of vitamin E a day, which is wonderfully anti-inflammatory, in addition to the healthy start pack, which will get you about 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per dose in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I would also be using um, uh, extra vitamin C, maybe 2,000 milligrams a day in divided doses. Magnesium has wonderful relaxing effects, and that can benefit her as well. There's a whole slew of other things that she could do. I didn't mean to interrupt you, though. You were, you were saying something there, Ann? Well, I'm just saying, whoa, this is a lot to take in. I know, but this is what your doctor should be doing. You shouldn't I have know, to call some pharmacist. I, on. But you're saying here to my daughter, she's 
I'm a Christian. I know the Lord, and I know that that this that what you're saying is yes, that is the truth. I also was a nurse, but I'm then not you know married. what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying about the doctors in Canada and how people are just fly, go just right give, to the? They just give anything because, as you said, they're treating just a symptom, which is not even the root of yes. what is going on. Yes. Were you an RN, Anne? I was. God bless you. RNs, RNs are awesome. You yes, never hear me rip on an RN, only on doctors. <laughs> not that, was, that was a long time ago. But what you said has been said very quickly, and I don't know if I, I know, know, but here's the thing. Go to BenFuchsArchives.com or BrightSideBen.com and just Please review say, the program. Say again? Say it slowly to me. Okay. Go to BenFuchsArchives.com okay. or ben Archives. Dot com, dot or, com or brightsideben.com okay brightsideben.com yes and then you could review the program you could review all the programs just review this program and you'll hear, and you can you'll have hear everything i said i know i do go fast cuz there's so much to talk about i got a whole I bunch understand. of calls i want to get to so god bless you just understand rheumatoid arthritis and sjogren's syndrome can turn around immediately it may take it may take more or less time depending on how broken down she is but they can turn around immediately and i'm going to let you go but the last thing i want to say to you is this as an rn you'll know this the body can turn on a dime, but we have to turn on a dime first. Does that make sense? The yeah. body itself can turn on a dime. You don't need drugs, you don't need chemotherapy, and you don't need boneheaded doctors either. All right, no. Ann, I'm going to go. I want to get one more call in. Thanks so Thank much. You. God, God bless, bless you. you. God bless you as well. Okay, right. let's move on to Chris in Texas. You get the last word. What's going on, Chris? Ben, I can't thank you enough for coming down to the capital of Texas, which is right in the center of the Bible Belt. You are needed more here than any place else, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I really appreciate that, Chris. Thanks for saying that. Is that did you just want to tell me that, or do you have questions? Uh, well, I, don't, I know you don't have much time, and this won't be the first time I will call. Uh, you'll probably hear from me as long as I have voice minutes. Call as much as I you want, want brother. I, I did want to tell everyone, when you're doing the elimination diet, uh, make gluten priority one as far as eliminating gluten. I can tell you that from experience. Good point. Gluten is a huge, huge problem, although there's other things in grains that are problematic. But gluten is a big, big, big problem that needs to be understood and respected. And there's, if, if you it's, truly it's want to help all, people and you're, and you're a doctor, you should be telling people this. Go ahead, Chris, real quick. It's, it's all about inflammation, and we're going to leave it there, and I would like to discuss more with you about inflammation, because as far as I'm concerned, it's all about inflammation, Ben. You're, you're right on, brother, and inflammation is attack, and it's all really about attack and protection. That's really ultimately what we're talking about. Chris, thank you so much for the kind words, brother. Be good. Have a beautiful day. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hang up on you there, bro. All right. That's all the time we have for today. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And, of course, if you want to sign up to join The Bright Side Ben team, call 866-735-2470 or sign up off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.